What's going on, guys? This is the Experienced Optimist. And today I want to talk about the economics of scamming men. Now, I was watching a YouTube video the other day, and it's from a YouTube creator that I actually like. He has a lot of videos that help men. And in this video, he was talking about how he used to live paycheck to paycheck. And he was talking about how one man helped him understand that living paycheck to paycheck is not very good and how he should change this behavior. And he said that he was going to, I mean, this, this, this knowledge really changed his life. And he was going to talk more about it, uh, talk more about it at the end of the video. So then he got to the end of the video and then he says, well, if you want to know the knowledge and wisdom that I've learned, well, you got to join my Patreon for five bucks and, you know, and this got me thinking, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time and it's nothing against him per se. It's just that I've noticed this trend my whole life. It's called the economics of scamming men. And, and what it is, it's a person who says they really care about you, but then they nickel and dime you with information products. And I think what men need to understand is that if men say that they really care about you, they're not going to nickel and dime you with information products. And, and that's the thing. I have a problem with men who set up their whole business model on extracting money from other men under the guise of helping them. Now, if you have a YouTube channel and you're putting out content, you should have supporters, right? You should have people who want to support you. To me, I think it's like a radio show. And if you enjoy that person, then you should, you know, give that money, man money if you feel like it. My problem is when you have these men who say that they're supposed to help you, you know, they have all this wisdom and knowledge and then they want you to buy their product for $59.99 or a hundred bucks, and then after you buy this course, buy their book, because I know what they're doing. They went home and they're looking at their Excel spreadsheet and they're saying, if I can get 500 men to buy this course in 1999, I can make such and such a month. So they really don't care about helping you. You see this in the PUA community, you see it with that nonsense drop shipping. You see that with these learning how to trade stocks and bonds. You see that, see this with um, with preachers. I've seen this my whole life. And I'm making this video to warn men about it. If men really care about other men, we're going to have to start giving men wisdom and knowledge on principle. And I'm not saying you should go out there and be a pauper, but your whole business model shouldn't be how to extract money from other men if you're supposed to be helping men. Now, I see, I saw a lot of PUAs do this, right, back in the day. A lot of PUAs would say, hey, look at these pictures. Look at this infield. I used to, infield videos. I used to be fat. I used to be out of shape. And look at me now. I am getting all the women. And you can too, buddy, because I am here for you. You can email me, call me at any time. Just buy my course for 599 bucks. How to get laid on the first date. And 
you'll be successful. And I'm singling out dating coaches and PUAs right now, but really I'm talking about all the guys. You know, all the guys that say they're they're about to, you know, they're supposed to be helping men and then they have all these tier lists on their Patreon. They're just building, you know, they're just building, like I said before, a business model around extracting money from you. Back when I used to read Business Week, Forbes, Wall Street Journal, the most lucrative demogra- uh, demographic was the male 18 to 34 demographic. Why? It's because they had the most money. And it almost, there was always an article every month talking about how to extract those resources from those men. What products do they need? This and that. They didn't care about the men if they were actually creating value. They cared about extracting that money from them, extracting wealth from them. And that's exactly what these men that I'm talking about are doing. They don't see you as someone that should be helped. They see you as a commodity. And I'm making this video to warn men to watch out for that. Don't be used as a commodity. We talk about this in the MGTOW community, that we shouldn't be used as men. But don't let other men use you either, even if they seem like the nicest person in the world. I just wanted to make this video because it got me annoyed, man. I, I see this a lot. Join my tier list. Hey, look, you know, I used to be broke, but now I have a lot of money. Well, you know why you don't you have more money now? It's because you're extracting money from the men that you say you want to help. That's why you have more money. Watch out for these guys, man. But if you like this video, like, subscribe, support other MGTOW channels, and I will talk to you later.